Yo, it's your boy LB. We are back with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Now, Mimo 600 says Wack 100 only wanted to sign him to beef with Lil Dirk. Wack says it's cap and shows receipts. All right, you guys are tuned in to Moolah Family. Make sure you guys hit the sub button. Let's get right into it. Now, um, I, I saw it was rumored that you were going to sign with Wack 100 at a point. Was there any truth to that or was that? Huh? I, I said I saw no, that. No, uh, <clears throat> see, I had met Wack through a mutual game. My uh, this nigga I uh, knew when I was a shorty or whatever. He uh, and he, I was asking him about him because I was seeing how Wack was moving. He had a lot of little shit going on at the time. So I asked, like, man, put me in tune with Wack. He sent me his number, whatever. I tell Wack, like, man, I right, look, I ain't got no management gang. I ain't never had management. Woo -woo. He like, uh, I right, had what all you be needing. I tell him, like, shit, I could just uh. You basically just give me stool, everything else so I give myself, just keep me in that studio. You feel me? Everything else is gonna work itself out. I'm oh, still. Well, long story short, the nigga kept asking me, like, are you do you and Dirk have beef? Like, I think he was like bidding off that shit. Like, he only wanted to fuck with me if I had beef with Smirk, because he know that'll bring more paper. Um I, I saw it was rumored that you were gonna sign with Wet. So it goes to the realization that, you know, um, text messages come out. The the text message basically goes like this. Steppers, is that all yours or did you do that through the label? He says, Steppers is mine. I was just told. I forgot that's the song that made them want to sign me. What kind of contract you in with OTF? Are you free or still locked in? I'm free. It was an album deal, but all that ish is over with. All right. And then he basically goes in like this. He basically says, hey, bro, you working with me or not? I feel like it's slowing down, waiting on you to help and reply to me. I think you got too much going on to focus on me. So I'm going to just keep pushing on my own. Good looking, though. All right. Then Wack 100 basically posted, he said, Mimo, business is business. You can only do as you want. My work happens 24-7. I'll cancel the play. I respect your decision. The set up brings the exposure, not the other way around. Ghazi just cleared you on his side. Dirk people need to do the same. I'm not like them. I, when I go, I go. And it costs. So it got to it gotta happen right. And where's the music? Don't make emotional decision. It always brings a loss. Focus, all right? Um, and I, I feel like, you know, WAC 100 is, you got to understand in this music game, when you try to do stuff, you're going to have to understand that, you know, people are, people are investing in you and you just really want somebody to invest in you. But, like, they do got a lot of stuff going on. Mimo, Mimo career, it felt like it just really just, Fell and fell and fell. Once Lil Dirk don't want to deal with him, I think he's black bull. Nobody want to deal with him. So it's kind of what it is, all right? Yo, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Definitely turn your post notifications on. We're going to keep dropping videos. Just keep watching them. It's your boy Moolah. Let's get it.